tourists on Saturday blocked the road from Yari Town to Koko local government area in Kebi State, killing three people. A source confirmed that the terrorists who came from Rijau in Ninja State blocked the road from Yari Town to Koko local government area, killing the three who were commuters from Ninja State traveling to Shokoto State. The trio who were shot at point blank range include the driver of the vehicle and two others. The source noted that the blockage and violence lasted for about an hour before they left, stating they had earlier laid siege in Shanga, Kualanga village, and they successfully rescued Katu. And as usual, calls placed to the spokesperson of the Kebi State Police Command, DSP Nafiu Abubakar, were not answered nor text messages sent to him replied. Meanwhile, the Zamfara State Police Command said on Saturday that it rescued 24 victims who were kidnapped by terrorists at Gugurwa community in Bungudu local government area of the state. Spokesperson of the command, SP Muhammad Shehu, who confirmed the development, told journalists at a news conference on Saturday in Gusau that the victims, including a seven-month-old baby, were rescued after a fierce gun battle between the security operatives and the bandits. On 18th February 2022, at about 2300 hours, police tactical operatives attached to 42 PMF squadron Gusau and anti-banditry operations in the area received a distress call that armed bandits in large numbers invaded the village and adopted some members of the community. Receiving the information, the tactical operatives in collaboration with the vigilante in the area swung into action and mobilized to the location for an extensive search and rescue operation. On sighting the operatives, the hoodlums engaged them to a serious gun battle that lasted for an hour, he said. Shell said the bandits abandoned the victims at the scene and as a result of the superior firepower of the security operatives, adding that 10 of the 24 victims had been reunited with their families in the village and 13 others were in police custody before handing them to their families. This is Justina reporting for Don't News Lab. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.